In this problem, we have a vector, and we're given all three of its components in the i, j, and k directions. The first part of the problem asks us to find the magnitude of the vector. This is fairly easy to do. To find the magnitude of the vector, all we need to do is take the square root of the sum of the squares of every single component. So that's the square root of 5 meters squared plus 3 meters squared, and we don't need to worry about the fact that there's a negative sign in front of the 3 because it's going to cancel out. All negative signs cancel out when you have a square. And then finally plus 2.0 meters squared. And if we put this into our calculator, then we find a magnitude of about 6.2 meters. So that is the magnitude of the vector. The next part of the problem asks us to draw a sketch of what the vector would look like on a right-handed coordinate system. Now, of course, this is a little bit open-ended, and there are a couple different ways we can do this, but I'm going to draw it in the way that's, that I think is fairly common in the realm of calculus. So here's the y-axis, here's the z-axis, and then the x-axis is coming out here somewhere. I'm actually going to draw more of the y-axis in this direction, because this is going to be where the negative is. Really, the key here is that we just want to draw a vector represented by an arrow that starts at this central origin point and then points to the point described by the vector. So the vector has a positive component in the uh, positive 5 for i, so that's in the x direction. So somewhere down here in the positive x axis, there is a 5 point. And then in the j direction, which corresponds to the y axis, there's a negative 3, so somewhere over here on the opposite side, on the negative side of the y-axis, there's a 3. And then in the k, which corresponds to the z-axis, there's a positive 2, so up around here somewhere. And now we just kind of have to draw an arrow pointing to where we think that arrow would go. So one way you can kind of do this is to kind of... Uh, draw like little dotted lines to kind of map out where that might be. So probably somewhere around here, and it's going to come up a little bit because it's rising. So yeah, so something, something like this. I think this is a pretty decent representation, even though I'm not the greatest sketch artist in the world. But yeah, but there are a couple different ways you can do that. But as long as it looks something like this, then you're on the right track. So that's all for this problem. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please consider subscribing as that'll help me make more videos like this. If you have a question, leave a comment down below and I'll do my best to help you out. If you have a request for a future video or you just want to hang out, I have my Discord server and my Twitch page linked in the description down below, so feel free to check those out if you want. But that's all for now, and I hope you all have a lovely day. Bye bye